Currently, we're in Reno, Nevada. This is Anderson Elementary School. This is the school where Charles and Jennifer Chia used to go. Ann Chang and her two children, Charles Chia, eight, and Jennifer Chia, six, had been living in Reno, Nevada for about two years. She was married to Gordon Chia. I believe at the time the family was living in California until they got a divorce. So Anne took the children and moved up here to Reno. She owned a restaurant in what used to be the Imperial Palace. So she was doing pretty good financially. This school is where she enrolled Charles and Jennifer. And this is a pretty safe neighborhood. So on October 18th, 1989, Charles and Jennifer, two kids going to school right here. They come out to this driveway right here, this parking lot, and they wait for their school bus to come and pick them up to take them home, not very far from here, and they do that every day. So Charles grabs his backpack, and Jennifer, she grabs her Miss Piggy lunchbox and her backpack, and they both board the bus for a short ride to the family's apartment, and there, they got their grandmother waiting for them when they get home. The school bus would have turned right into this driveway to drop off the children. This is the apartment complex where they used to live. And at that time, their mother, Anne, was actually on vacation. She was visiting her father in Taiwan. So Anne's grandmother came here to watch the children while she was away. They would get off the school bus right at around 3.30 p.m. However, according to the bus driver, they got off of the bus, but they never arrived to their apartment. Around 5.30 p.m., Ann's grandmother calls the police. Now, she doesn't speak any English, so the communication was a little bit difficult. But finally, they find somebody that could communicate with her. She says, my grandchildren haven't arrived from school and I'm getting kind of worried. Now, about this time now, it's already getting dark or practically is dark. And at that time, the police, when they would get calls about missing children, most times they were just at their friend's house playing video games and they got you know, lost in the game or they lost track of time or what have you. So they didn't really take it too seriously right around until going into the next day, which is when uh, they really started seeing that this was a real missing persons case and the children didn't come home. Immediately after Anna was notified that her children did not come home from school, she immediately caught the next flight back to the United States. When she came back, she was also told by some of the restaurant employees and the police that while she was gone, somebody had called her restaurant and told them that they had their children and that they wanted a $100,000 ransom. When she arrived at the restaurant, the caller never called back. However, they were able to trace the call and arrest a suspect in that extortion attempt. James Grooms was taken down to the police station for questioning. He denied knowing the whereabouts of Charles or Jennifer and denied being involved in any kind of kidnapping plot. He simply stated that he had seen this all over the news and he was just trying to make a quick dollar. Well, eventually he was found guilty of the extortion and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Six months later on July 25th, 1990, a Caltrans worker in Blairsden, California, which is about 60 miles west of Reno, discovered a human skull in a turnout. And when detectives arrived, they excavated the site and they found a shallow grave with two sets of human remains that were later identified as Charles 
and Jennifer Chia. As you can see on the stone, their kidnapping date is put as their death date. Donald Duck. And Cinderella. A couple of notes of this case. Somebody had stated that they were in the area at the time that the children had gotten off the bus from school that day, October 18th, 1989. And they stated that there was an Asian man standing by a truck. Uh, he appeared to be balding and maybe in his late 40s or early 50s. And in 2000, a witness to this case, supposed witness, stated that at the scene where the children's bodies were found, there was a white older Volkswagen, similar to the one that I'm putting on the screen right now. And when authorities did a DMV records check, they found that a white older Volkswagen was owned and operated at one time by James Grooms. And they went to go question him. And this was, I think, right around the time he was set to be released. And uh, he did admit, of course, that he did have a white Volkswagen, but denied being anywhere near Blairsden, California, at that time that the children's bodies were found. To this day, nobody knows where James Grooms is. He disappeared off the face of the earth. And what we have here now is an almost 35-year-old case of two siblings who were kidnapped and murdered. And authorities feel that they are they are somewhat close to solving this case. They don't call this a cold case. They're just, they're waiting for a phone call. They're waiting for someone to call in and maybe that person is you, who knows? I'm Lamont at large, I'm hitting the road. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.